Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. Very bad things will happen if silver falls below $18. Let's explore! Indeed, we have seen silver disappoint us as of late, although the past couple of days it's been climbing. Um, in fact, as I record this video, surprisingly, it's outperforming gold, which is really what it should be doing, and it should be doing all along. But nonetheless, even with the prices rising, we have seen it fall uh, below $19 into the $18 range. But there is sort of a hard floor uh, and resistance point for silver, and uh, we have seen it fall below that resistance level before. $20 is where I thought it was uh, going to be. And we've not really seen it maintain above $20 for a little while now. I'm going to be talking about an article here from, of all places, Bitcoin.com that reports uh, some analysis from uh, David Morgan and what he says about silver. And I agree with this analysis here, although there's some things I disagree with Mr. Morgan on. But nonetheless, this is uh, certainly some very interesting material. And I believe that if what he says is true, um, with what silver could happen uh, with the price, um, then that means that likely we will see a run on silver. And they could head it up into uh, north with the prices because of the physical demand for it. And I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, we see gold's been teetering above 1750 per ounce. The price of silver has dropped considerably, uh, sliding 2.33 percent in value against U.S. dollar uh, during the last day or so. Silver has lost more than 28 percent against the dollar during the last 165 days since about March. Uh, despite the lower price, David Morgan believes silver is expected to see a crunch in supply. Uh, but that's in 10 years' time, he believes. Uh, and he says that he thinks the silver will be one of the best investments of the decade. He uses that term investment. I don't like to consider silver as an investment. I like to consider it as a, as a hedge. However, obviously, with almost any kind of asset class, especially with commodities and derivatives, well, you could probably uh, risk the, as an investment. But I think I like to take the more uh, cautious approach on the metal. We saw that during most of 2021 and the second half of 2022, uh, the, many investors have been focused on assets like gold and Bitcoin. Although Bitcoin has lost quite a bit of its value, silver, on the other hand, has not performed as well. And both silver spot prices and silver mining stocks have underperformed the S&P 500. Uh, in February 2021, news reported that the so-called silver squeeze sparked by anonymous cohorts and the Reddit forum and Wall Street bets and Wall Street silver. And that week, silver soared to almost $30 an ounce. Um, and many pre uh, precious metal dealers said they were out of stock. In 2022, an ounce of silver reached a high of $26.46 during the second week of March. Uh, but on March 8th of 2022, gold's price per ounce hit a new all-time high. It's a traded above the 2070 range. Silver has lost more than 28% of its value since March 8th. And despite the significant losses, David Morgan, the founder of the Morgan Report, believes silver will see a crunch in supply in the next 10 years. And I don't disagree with that. Although to what the level and to what extreme that will be is another matter. There's a lot of different factors you have to, you have to think about uh, when in terms of supply crunch or supply deficits. And demand and supply are the things that battle against each other that one would think would lead to price discovery. But so far, it really hasn't played out to that level. A lot of that has to do with uh, the uh, pandemic still looming on us as far as the supply chain is concerned. We're still recovering from that and other factors as well, too, like a recession, which means it's going to be less demand for silver. On August 19th, Morgan discussed silver's value with anchor and producer of Kitco News, David Lynn. And uh, Morgan told Lynn that the silver supply could run dry in the future. Uh, according to data collected by the Silver Institute, the world's silver demand will hit a record 
1.112 billion ounces in 2022. But again, uh, you know, I don't know if that's making itself or, or if that's reality right now, considering the supply chain issues and the like. We are seeing an uptick in semiconductors, and some of that is being fulfilled, or some of that demand is now uh, being uh, increased at this point. And there's not a shortage of chips, I think, right now for a myriad of different reasons. Part of it is Bitcoin. Um, people aren't mining as much. It's not as cost effective to mine anymore. USGS said that the silver would be the first element on the periodic table that would be in such short supply. And that has, and that was a few years back. Just the industrial side alone is probably going to take all the silver available at some point in time. Uh, he said that uh, if you've got a long time horizon, like 10 years or more, I can't think of something that would be better than silver as an investment uh, forecasting these short supplies. But silver will come will shine at some point, but it's probably going to take a natural corner. A natural corner is when industry alone sucks up all of the silver that's available and there isn't any left. But I think long before that, you're going to see something else happen that I've talked about many times before that uh, kind of uh, contradicts and counters that argument. I'll talk about that in a moment. In the short term, FX Empires, precious metals analyst Christopher Lewis envisions silver dipping below $18 an ounce. Before that, Lewis said that there's a gap in the silver futures market, and he believes the gap will be filled in the near future. At this point, it looks like we will fill the gap uh, rather soon, perhaps down to the $18.50 range. If we break it down below there, and then at the $18 level is also important, as it is a large, round, psychologically significant figure. In an area where we have recently seen a lot of support, Lewis's technical analysis report continues. Ultimately, this is a market that I think continues to see a lot of downward pressure. And if we can break down below the $18 level, that probably kicks off the next great leg lower. Indeed, in other words, we're going to start to see prices drop significantly below that point, And then it'll be tougher to recapture that $18 level is what he's saying. And then as scenario, it's very possible we could see silver get absolutely smoked. That's right. In other words, how does that, how do you read into that? What does that mean by being smoked? It means damaged the price. It's going to just fall and, it's, and the ratio between gold and silver will widen even more, perhaps possibly above 100 again. What we saw previously when silver got smoked to under $12 an ounce. It might be very difficult to get back above that $1,800, $18 level in the median term. Um, and so that is something to uh, consider. And I believe that could very well happen. That the more the price drops continually, especially the harder it is to recapture. We've seen that lately in terms of the price movement. Now, obviously, as I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a te technical analyst. But nonetheless, when we saw silver fall below $20 an, le $20 an ounce, it was very difficult for it to maintain above $20 an ounce for any given period of time. If you look at the price of silver over that period, and that is something that we have to come to grips with reality. Um, and to some extent, gold is the same way, but again, gold is a more, more stable um, asset. Um, and this is one reason why, by the way, I have been moving more towards gold than silver in recent years. Uh, but again, I believe there's some good opportunities for silver, uh, but I believe that you have to keep in mind and understand that if, if it falls below $18, $18 an ounce, I believe we're going to see a sustained drop um, in silver probably into the 17s, maybe even the, the 16s uh, for a while in the medium term, not long term. Uh, uh, and here's where I disagree with Mr. Morgan on on silver. I believe that silver's price um, uh, will essentially reflect the demand and the like, but as the price continues to drop, it is not economically viable right now to recycle a great deal of silver, although they are recycling some silver right now, and they've been doing it for quite some time, but I believe you'll see technologies and things come aboard where they'll start doing it more and more. And as the price goes up, well, silver supply will increase. Uh, people will sell uh, some of their uh, silver that they have 
And some of that will be going to fulfill the industrial demand as well. And then you will see it priced as an industrial metal. And when that happens, and with all the derivatives out there, I don't necessarily think it's going to price is going to skyrocket anytime soon. Um, and even, maybe even any time later as well, it may not skyrocket. In other words, all of the silver that's ever been mined in the, in the earth has the potential to be recycled. It doesn't just disappear. Yes, it's consumed. But as it's consumed, well, it can very well just as easily be uh, recycled and put back into the supply chain. Uh, so let me know what your thoughts are about this. Um, article uh, and about what I talked about here, what David Morgan says, and about these bad things. So that's a bad thing in terms of the price is concerned at falling below $18. And I think it's just going to fall from there. Be prepared for it, folks, if it does happen. Um, and again, don't know. I don't have a crystal ball in front of me. I've got one in the other room, though, but it's really made of glass and it really doesn't do much but I can at least say I've got one. Let me know what your thoughts are. I hope you found this video insightful. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, and yes, while you're at it, hey, it's okay to continue to stack silver. Just understand that the price could continue to drop <coughs> and also understand that in the long run, silver is going to be okay. Yes, indeed, silver. There it is. A multitude of gratitude to you all.